What is up, Karatex? In this video, we're we'll be talking about this week's Double Money Event Week, as well as the vehicle discounts. So, starting off, the brand new Fister Comet S2 is now officially available for purchase. It was added today, July 29th, and it is the first drip feed vehicle of the update. This event week is for July 29th through August 4th, 2021. The current prize ride for this week is the Volker Warner HKR. And yes, for those of you who don't know, the prize ride in the LS car meet will change every week, just like the casino podium vehicle. So now you can potentially get two free vehicles every week, which is pretty insane. So to get the Warner HKR for free, you only have to win five sprint races, which is extremely <laughs> easy. You can literally do that with a few friends and let each other win back and forth. Now, this car is primarily based on the Datsun Sunny Truck Hakotora and has a normal price of 1.2 million and a trade price of just under a million. So, essentially, a free million dollar car from a brand new DLC that released literally about a week ago that you can win by completing some easy challenges in like 10 minutes is pretty amazing and generous of Rockstar to do. Now some of you may be a bit angry or annoyed that now players can get this car for free, but remember that you can always take the one you originally purchased and sell it. So you can see mine right here sells for about a million dollars. I paid full price for it and I have it pretty much fully upgraded. But again, it will depend on your upgrades and how much you paid for it originally. In terms of the test drive vehicles for this week in the LS car meet, we have the Comet S2 repeating from last week, the Jester RR, and the new Vapid Dominator Asp, which is a drip feed vehicle. You cannot buy it yet, you can just test drive it, which I assume is Rockstar hinting that this will be the new drip feed vehicle next week, similar to what they did with the Comet S2. So that's actually pretty cool. Maybe from now on we will actually know what the drip feed vehicle will be a week before it even comes out, which is pretty nice. Now, in terms of the Casino Podium vehicle for this week, we have the True Fade Z-Type. So this car is primarily based on the Bugatti Type 57 Atlantic, which is an OG sports classics car. It has a normal price of $950,000, which is pretty expensive for a 2013 vehicle. And it was one of the most expensive cars back then alongside the Adder. Now, till this day, believe it or not, the Z-Type still has the highest top speed in the sports classics class. Now obviously top speed isn't everything, handling definitely needs to come into play, that's why the Turismo Classic, Red City Mark II, etc. are the top vehicles in that class for most tracks, but if you do happen to come across a top speed heavy racing situation, like a pure highway race for sports classics cars, this is a great car for that. But anyways, for those of you who originally paid full price for the Z-Type, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sub it for about 700000 depending on your upgrades and how much you paid for it originally. So, is a Z-Type worth attempting to win by spinning the lucky wheel over and over this week? Well, considering its price of almost a million dollars and the fact that it still has the highest top speed in the Sports Classics class, I'd say it's 100% worth the time trying to win it. Moving on to vehicle discounts, we have 40% off the Locust. So this car is in the sports class and isn't very fast. Plus it doesn't really handle that well considering the way it looks. You might think this thing handles amazingly, but for some reason it doesn't. It just handles like a normal sports car. The customization is pretty good, but overall this car is just a bit overpriced and underwhelming in my opinion, even with the discount. Moving along, we have 40% off the Vapid Click which is one of the fastest cars in the muscle car class around most tracks. And yes, depending on the track, this one can beat the new Dominator GTT, so I highly recommend getting the Click if you don't have one already. Next up, we have 30% off the Pariah. So this car is in the sports car class and still remains to be the fastest car in the game with normal tires. And I say that because obviously, most of you might know the new Calico GTF with the low grip tires is the new top speed king, but it really isn't ideal for any sports car races with turns. So technically, with normal tires, the Pariah is still one of the fastest cars in the sports class, and I highly recommend getting one if you don't have one already. Moving along, we have 30% off the Raiden. So this one rarely goes on sale, quite surprising it's on sale this week obviously based on the Tesla Model S, 
It's a very cool car, but isn't all that quick in the sports class, and the Neon just dominates it in every way. Next up, we have 40% off the Mamba. So this car is in the Sports Classics class. It's a pretty quick car, but the handling isn't very great, as you might expect. If you want this car, I'd recommend holding off, because according to Test Funds 2 on Twitter, this car will be a future prize ride car in the LS car main. Moving on to the Southern San Andreas website, we have 40% off the BF Club. Now this car was on sale last week as well, so I guess they're just continuing the discount <laughs> for this week. But anyways, this is the fastest car in the Compact's class for racing, by far, hands down, there's no competition. So for those of you who don't own one, I highly, highly recommend buying it, especially since you're getting a second chance this week if you weren't able to acquire it last week. This thing literally has almost sports car level of performance, which is pretty insane for a vehicle in the Compact's class. Moving along, we have 40% off the Everon. So this truck is in the off-roads class and is pretty good for off-roading and has good customization as well. Obviously, it's not very quick in comparison to the Camacho or Trophy truck, for example, which are both good at off-roading and have good speed as well. The Everon pretty much just has decent off-road capability, and obviously it's a ton of fun to mess around with. Next up, we have 40% off the Nebula Turbo. Now, this thing is actually a lot of fun to drive and has pretty good customization as well, but I feel it's just way overpriced for what it is, even with the discount. Moving along, we have 40% off the SE Sport. So this car is in the sports car class and is one of the fastest for off-road rally style tracks. Plus it has the best handling in the sports class as well. This car is just an absolute <laughs> rally monster and one I highly recommend buying if you don't have it already. In terms of double money, we have double money NRP on the adversary mode, the Vespucci job. Very reminiscent of the Italian job. These are pretty fun with friends, but eventually they do get pretty boring after a couple maps. And lastly, we have Double Money NRP on the Sprint Races, which I guess is pretty fitting for the prize ride challenge. You can make some extra money while you're trying to do that. Now obviously these two aren't too great in terms of Double Money, but we have to remember that after a DLC, we usually don't get decent Double Money opportunities for a while. Moving on to the Prime Gaming Discounts for Prime Gaming Members only, I will leave instructions in the pinned comment on how to become a Prime Gaming Member if you aren't one already. So we have 80% off the Coquette Blackfin. This car is in the Muscle Car class, believe it or not, and it really isn't all that fast in comparison to the others, but it's still a really nice car to drive and customize as well. Moving along, we have 50% off the BR8, which is the fastest open wheel car in the game, so Half price off the BR8, if you don't own one, now is the best time to get it if you're a Prime Gaming member. Also, we have 100% off the new Auto Shop property, specifically the Strawberry location. And I do want to clarify here that this specific discount is only for players who are Prime Gaming members before July 18th. Also, if we get guys you're just flogging in this week as a Prime Gaming member, you'll get a free $100,000, which is pretty cool. Again guys, if you don't see a discount on the vehicles I mentioned, it's because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again, all the information on how to do that is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly, we have of course the RC Bandito Time Trial Little Soul Park. This week's normal time trial is Sawmill. I highly recommend either the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, or a Batty 801 for that time trial. And this week's premium race is the Muscle Car Race Muscle In. I highly recommend either the Dominator GTT, Yosemite, Pizwazer Dominator, or a Vapid Click for that race. Every Friday I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. Overall, this event week really surprised me in terms of the vehicle discounts. A ton of good ones for this week. Although, sadly, we didn't get any Warstock website discounts this week, which is a bit surprising. And the double money isn't really all that great for this week, but again, we can't expect much for a few weeks after a DLC release. Just give it a few more weeks, maybe a month, and it will go back to normal with really good double money opportunities. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.